Hello, thank you so much for joining us today. My name is Chaim Israel, Global Strategies and Head of Thematic Investing in Bank of America Global Securities. I'm so pleased and honored today to be joined by Jack Hilary, the co-founder and CEO of Sandbox, uh, one of the global leaders of AI quantum computing that we're going to speak about today, about the revolution. Where I would recommend institutional investors really now bear down uh, with their management teams that they work with is to go beyond just the peripheral usage of these technologies. Yes, of course, we expect to see management teams use it for customer service. We expect to the management teams to use it for knowledge management of the huge knowledge basis, right, within any company. But let's look for companies that are using it in the core value creation of the company itself, right? How they make the car itself, not just the knowledge management, you know, around, around the company, how they're doing the energy itself, if they're an energy or utility or storage company, battery company, yes. things like that, how they're driving value even in financial services, as an example, where what new products can we be creating uh, and also new kinds of risk management that take us beyond Monte Carlo. Monte Carlo has been the risk management tool of choice now for years. It is standardized into the regulation, in fact, but clearly it's not good enough anymore because. We're in too complex a world, time as you know, with derivatives, with synthetic instruments, with many instruments that were never envisioned in the days that we developed Monte Carlo simulation. And so at asset managers also, the very institutions that we're speaking at, uh, speaking with tomorrow at the conference, thinking about their own asset allocation strategies, portfolio construction strategies, portfolio optimization, risk management, <laughs> risk exposure. All this now, there's an opportunity to raise that up a notch, right? As we think about both AI and simulation, the ability to simulate billions and billions of possible portfolio constructions, the ability to simulate billions of possible scenarios in terms of interest rates rising, interest rates falling. One of the things that caught the central banks, as we well know, in terms of not predicting what might happen to certain smaller banks that got caught here was the impact of rising interest rates. Now, again, were stress tests done? Of course they were done, but the stress tests are not sophisticated enough to handle today's complex economy. And so this is what we're talking about, Haim, in terms of the deeper use of these technologies. I think that within the next year, most responsible management teams will use it in a peripheral way. They'll use it for customer service. They'll use it for some basic content generation for their websites and other kinds of productivity gains. That's fine. Check the box. Good. But institutional investors, I would recommend if, if you want to really get your returns up from the portfolio companies that you have, see if you could choose companies that are taking that leadership in the core of the business, in the core value creation itself, be it a new drug, be it a new financial instrument, uh, be it a new kind of uh, grid architecture. If, you are, if you're investing in telcos, as an example, there's a lot of stuff to look at there, both in terms of the cybersecurity aspect of what telcos provide, VPNs. Uh, right now, every institutional investor, every company, every corporation in the world is on a virtual private network of VPN. The core VPN is encryption. We have to look at that encryption and make sure it's up to snuff. So I would just recommend institutional investors take the next step. Let's go beyond the surface, deeper in, and make sure that companies are using this tech in a deeper way. And that's the opportunity now. You mentioned that some companies are coming late to the party. If you find yourself investing in a company coming a little late to the party, here's the good news. There's an opportunity for them to leapfrog because they can go deeper than their competitors in the use of this technology. And again, I would just leave Chaim, our, our listeners today, with the idea of a, of a more complete toolbox. We love Gen AI. It's very exciting. It's very fun and visceral to interact with it, asking it questions, getting back answers. But there's many more tools in the toolbox. Uh, knowledge graphs, simulation. I recommend institutional investors take a deeper look at these other tools in the toolbox and come away with a richer sense 
of how to create value in their portfolios. It's amazing because we've been, as you said, and you outlined so smartly, we are just at the first chapter. Thank you so much for your time. And I can't wait for the next chapter. Thanks, Haim.